dare we say game of the year? Yeah, I think it's pretty accurate. You look at UW traveling to Sac Lake City. It's going to be crazy and wild. The must we revved up to go against one of the top teams in the country in UW. And really, when you look at this ball game, it's pretty simple. If you want to slow down this UW high-powered offense, you have to continue to change the picture late. This is what Utah thrives doing under Kyle Whittingham. There's one picture for the quarterback, and then right before the snap, there's different pressures, there's different coverage. All of a sudden, there's defenders in your face. So it's going to be man-to-man -man coverage. And you cannot imagine Chico McClatcher, John Ross, and a variety of those wide-ups, Dante Pettis, man coverage against the Utah back end. They're going to have to make plays. Now, good thing for the dogs, this has happened to them many times this year. An example from last weekend's game against Oregon State, there's edge pressure. Jake Browning doesn't just utilize his arm, but he utilizes his legs and his eyes. And he does such a great job of scrambling, keeping his eyes down the field. Look at him layer a beautiful ball to Aaron Fuller. We've seen him do this time and time again throughout this season. But for Utah, it's not as low as their slouches on offense. They have to continue to scheme up ways to find chunk yardage because they're going up against one of the best defensive units, not just in the Pac-12 conference, but in the entire country. A great job against UCLA coming into this game a week ago was the most improved defense in the Pac-12. Utah found ways to get chunk yardage in easy elements. They run off the corner. They find their tight end down the outside wide open. They're going to have to devise plays like that to give themselves a chance against UW's defense because this defense is lethal. At the corner position, it's NFL caliber. They do a great job of incredible patience against wide receivers and press coverage. Their safeties, they understand spacing and timing. A perfect example is right here on the slant arrow route combination. Instantly, boom, I feel it coming to the outside, put my foot in the ground, I hit it. We've seen it time and time again. I think we got the game of the year right now in the Pac-12. Two teams that actually mirror themselves in terms of how physical they are, their discipline to the top coaches in the country. I think we have a really fun one on FS1, 12:30 Saturday. It's going to be an absolute blast. Can Utah upset UW? Tune in and we'll find out.